Next generation wireless communication networks, namely 5G and even 6G, will improve our wireless experience far beyond that 4G ever could. Considering various applications, you will feel it in your phone, your home, your car, and in the city around you. 5G does this magic by satisfying the key requirements, like extremely high data rates and capacity. Then the question is how? How 5G satisfy these requirements? The first answer for sure, we need to develop more advanced wireless technologies. Also, considering the recent development of AI and machine learning, we can apply them as a powerful tool to solve extremely complex problems in uh, wireless communications. My name is Asim. Today, I'll present AI-assisted Massy MIMO communications. Let's first start with Massy MIMO. Here, MIMO stands for multiple input, multiple output. In other words, we use multiple antennas. The conventional MIMO systems mostly consider up to four antennas. Uh, how, recently, there was a paradigm shift in MIMO technology, so-called Massy MIMO, where the number of antennas are very large. As we move from MIMO to Massy MIMO, we can support larger number of users with the benefit of higher capacity and connectivity. Uh, however, as we serve multiple users, then there is interesting questions to be answered. How should we allocate power among the users? Uh, unfortunately, the traditional uh, optimization techniques cannot find an optimal solution to maximize the capacity. So in this study, we aim to apply both AI and machine learning. First, we apply particle swarm optimization, which is a nature-inspired AI algorithm. It employs multiple search agents to find the optimal solution. Although it achieves almost optimal capacity, its computational complexity make it impractical for the real-time applications. Then we develop a deep learning-based power allocation algorithm, which is a supervised machine learning mechanism because it is trained via PSO. The first illustrative results consider a setup where six users are served by a base station having 256 antennas. In all datasets, the proposed DLPA algorithm greatly enhanced the capacity compared to equal power allocation. Also, it closely approached to the optimal capacity provided by PSO. Then, we apply the runtime analysis by running the trained neural network on both MATLAB and the Xilinx AI development card. In figure three, the blue curve shows us the runtime of the DLPA is less than a millisecond, which is significantly smaller than PSO. To sum up, the proposed algorithm achieves near optimal capacity by reducing the runtime more than 99%, which looks appealing for the real-time online application. 